whether you're playing a game or working at the office, chances are a Logitech mouse will be the right fit for you. But a lot of them come with a DPI button which a lot of you would rather use for something else. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can turn off the DPI button on your Logitech mouse. So the easiest way of turning off uh, your uh, mouse DPI button is to just reconfigure it in uh, G-Hub. So if you have a gaming mouse like this one, you will get a Logitech G-Hub. If you have an older mouse, you would have to use the LGS or the Logitech gaming software. Or uh, if you have an MX series or an Office series mouse, then uh, Logitech has a different set of programs, but the overall process applies. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on uh, my G502X Plus and head over to the Assignments tab, which is this plus icon right here. And now, as you can see, I'm in my custom desktop profile. But if I were to go to the desktop default profile, you will see that there uh, is a DPI up and a DPI down button that is assigned to every individual key. Now, uh, generally, if let's say I head over to the sensitivity settings. Now, as you can see, as, as soon as I click these buttons, my DPI goes up and down, which means I can change it on the fly without much hassle. But uh, most of you will want to use a singular DPI. For that, I will switch my profile back to desktop main. And as you can see, this is what I use 1200 DPI on my desktop. So how do you change this? Well, the easiest way of changing this is to go back to the assignments tab and just unassign these buttons. Uh, now I understand that uh, assigning these buttons will be a waste of them. So you would want to be able to use them for something else and that you can do by just dragging and dropping any command from this over to these buttons. So You've got a bunch of commands, you've got Alt F4, you've got Alt Tab, you've got uh, Task Manager shortcuts, um, so on and so forth. You've got Lock PC, Open File Explorer, bunch of options that you can try and whatever you want to assign, all you have to do is just take this and drag and drop on top of the button. So for example, I can have copy and paste assign to my DPI up and my DPI down button. So now pressing these buttons will not change the DPI, but will perform this action instead. Uh, similarly, in view two, I have this DPI shift button. I can change this to um, save or let's say cut. So now I have my cut, copy and paste buttons all assigned to just one key and I can use uh, three individual keys on my mouse. And there is no annoying DPI change button that I can accidentally hit and send my mouse into space. Uh -huh. And that is how it works. You can basically shift if you shift to the G shift slider. And if you have a second layer of commands assigned there, it also works the same way. You can have individual keys. You can have actions from supported uh, programs. You can have uh, individual macros. We've done a video on how you can make macros for a Logitech mouse. So go check that out if you want to try it. And then of course you have your uh, system functions, which is your DPI up, down, left shift, which we just uh, unassigned. So if you want to get back to the DPI functionality, you can just have these. If you don't want to have any functionality on these buttons at all, you can just click them and you can click disable, which will remove any key assignment from these buttons. I can, uh, you can just go back to the default one as well. So as you can see, I can revert all of these to default just using these quick selections. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's how easily you can get rid of a DPI button on your Logitech mouse. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology. Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and I'll see you in the next video.